what? All right, we are on the air, if you will. We're on the record as well. As well. Um, let's see, this might be this. There. All right, I'm attorney Gary Oberst. I'll be your hearing officer today. To my right, representing the city of Norwalk is John Hay Ducky. He is the deputy zoning inspector. Uh, we're going to hear your matter. John will present the findings of the city, then you'll be heard, and then we'll see if there's anybody who's a member of the public that wants to be heard, and then we'll try to reach a resolution. Okay. Um, this matter is 32 Adamson. Is 32 where we Adamson. And let me do something before I forget real quick, because my luck, the microphone's not turned on. <laughs> my luck. Hey, look at that, it is. All right. All right, so we have the homeowner here, or one of the homeowners? Yes, we have uh, Mrs. Jordan. She's uh, one of the property owners, and I believe I provided the um, the green card there, but I'll uh, do everybody's favorite, the old share screen. Get the presentation, here we go. So first we have, uh, the first document there is our Decision form was from last week, which was pretty much just postponing to this week. Um, and there it is. So this uncontested and basically saying we postponed to this week. Uh, and then everything stayed as it was from the previous hearing. And then, so here was the green card for the initial hearing notice. And this is uh, Mrs. Jordan as on the green card. And so basically, uh, this one was we we're here for some parking in the front setback and Mrs. some Mrs. other. Mrs. Yes, Jordan, Mrs. Jordan. Mrs. Jordan. Where's here? Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm going to swear you in. Are you going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. All right. Mr. Hickey, I'll pick that back up again. He's going to tell what's, tell me what's going on. Yes. So basically what we have here is just very simple. We have a uh, couple of uh, unregistered vehicles. This, this photo was taken on um, February 23rd, which was yesterday. Uh, and so we have one here and we have definitely another one here. Possibly another I couldn't see, so possibly another one, but may may or may not be. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the issue, but this is kind of hard to fix now because of winter, is the parking area. This has to be turned back to grass, this little area, basically in here. So those are the two violations, parking surface within the front setback and two, possibly three unregistered vehicles where only one is allowed. And I'll be completely honest, if there was one there, I this one here may be far enough back from the street that it could be kept because everybody has, everybody's allowed one unregistered vehicle, but I don't want to have to force the property owner to get a survey to show me where that is. that's expensive and that's unnecessary. So I don't want to make you, I don't want to make the property owner spend a lot of money on a survey just for the placement of a car. Um, so that's where we're at. That was Tuesday. And um, what the city is looking for is just to hear the side of the property owner to see what progress has been, has been made. Oh, and I think as a courtesy, yeah, there we go. As a courtesy, I put our uh, original, um, when we first started here, the first time this was in front of you there, uh, Mr. Hearing Officer, was December 13th. Okay. And then, that's Mrs. Old. Jordan, are these, are there any objections to these pictures? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can you put it back? Sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what you said, you would have had one unraised. Yeah, right? you can have one, yeah. So that going to be the, um, this one? the Mercedes. No, 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 oh, this the, one. The close Mercedes, this okay, one. yep. So, that uh, the blue throw the Dutch is gone. It's not there anymore. Okay. Uh, no. Those two. He's still here, right? He wants to sell it. Okay. He's the buyer. Okay. But the buyer, he said he doesn't have enough money right now to to buy it. Right. So that's going to be 
I don't know. Okay. But what we could, the thing that we would do, so when, when these are bought, when these are sold, then the, this one here that's not registered? Is, no, because uh, we bought this car. This one? No, this one, this Mercedes. This one, yep. Yeah, and then we, um, because that one is not working. This one here? Right. Okay. And then that's the reason we have, we was paying for a long time the registration and insurance. Right. But I told my husband, if we don't use it because of we, it's now okay, so. Right. And then he decided to buy the Mercedes. Well, no. And then we take that registration from there and we put it over here. Okay. And uh, the other two, like I told you, they're going here, to right? be sold. Okay, so I'm just letting you know when you do, so when there's only one vehicle left, one unregistered vehicle left, mm -hmm. it does have to be moved back here. It, it, it has to be behind basically where the front line of your house is. Oh, okay. So if you, I'm just saying, if you keep this one or if you keep this, whichever one just has to be. What happens if you cover? Cover, that doesn't, not, that doesn't count. Oh, it has okay. to be if it's unre if it's un if it's registered, it can stay right here. Okay. Any car any car that's registered can be in the driveway. That's fine. It's only different if it's unregistered because if it's unregistered, it's considered like a like a, a blight or a, you know something that's not preferred. Okay, so it should be tucked like, off the street. But he put it like you said behind the behind the house. So it would have to be the back of the car. It would have to be even, like kind of like a garage. It would have to be even with the garage. Oh, okay. So the back of the car would have to be even with the garage. So that's a good deal. Yeah. So about how, you know, we can't keep this open, obviously. We can't keep it open forever, obviously. So I would suggest, it, obviously, trying to get this, the person who owns, who wants to buy the cars, try and get that moving. Try and see if they, because if for some reason they just keep saying, oh, we don't have the money, we don't have the money, then it's still a problem for you because you still have the issue of the yeah. unregistered vehicles. So then you have to make a choice. Are you going to either keep selling them or are you going to have to register them? Because if you register them, they're fine where they are. You get like a temporary registration and that's fine as well. Because the biggest problem we have right now, we don't have the money to deal with. I understand. Yeah, that's why I'm just, I'm saying that that's another the, the, This solution. money was 12. Not right. even the tenant paid rent. I can. I understand. I understand. That's a lot of a lot of people are going through that yeah. right now. But it's just I'm just saying we have to have some sort of. It has to move forward. It has to keep moving to getting everything resolved. How much does it cost to register a car? Uh, they vary by type, age, and all that. Probably a couple hundred bucks. I would think a few hundred bucks. It's cheaper than the fine you get. A five hundred dollar fine in last time. No progress. I'm going to raise the fine again. So you better do something. Find a different buyer. Register the car. But you can't just keep sitting. And I know, I'm not the only one who's got these problems. We all have them. But we have to have progress. How much time? Well, right it? now is a big problem. <laughs> I understand. Oh, yeah. but the pro you're making the problem worse by doing nothing about it. How much time do you need to come back to tell me to tell me that you've accomplished something? Right now, I'll tell you the truth. I can tell you when because. Uh, well, you can tell me when, or I'll tell you when. But I'm not giving you an opportunity to tell me. I hope you know. I hope he do something with that because. Even the property is in my name, mm -hmm. but I don't make no decisions. So you know what? Uh, I, I have a little because sometimes uh, something coming to the house, and I suppose I, I don't want to have it, but sometimes I don't want. Well, how about how about we say this? Because our next hearing that we have here, our next hearing dates are is March twenty fourth, one month from today. Okay. If you think you can get a 
something moving along, do something by then, like I said, that, you know, we can see some, maybe get one of the cars sold, or maybe get one of them registered, because right now, the fine at the moment is sitting at $500. That's, you know, it doesn't cost $500 to get one of the cars registered, Tempor a temporary registration. And then that, that counts, the temporary registration counts. So that if you get the car temporarily registered, so the court is open already? The, D, the DMV is open, the Department of Motor Vehicles is because open. Because I have so many tenants I want to read all day. Yeah, no, <laughs> I understand. You told me, no, you can. Well, the, 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 the motor vehicle agency is open. There. No, but I'm talking to, because I don't know, we have to go to court for this well, deal. Not, I, I hope not. It's only 500 bucks. I hope not. Because I think if $500, uh, well, like I told you, and it could be five, it could be $150 a day. That's thousands of dollars. That's not what we're here to do. We don't want that. We want to, you know, we have to put something there. We have to make sure that something does get done over time. Well, but it just it has to move along. And the, the monetary, the the you know, the five hundred dollars or the fine, that's our mechanism to our see, trying to get things going. Well, like I told you. So those cars, are in, uh, because see, he bought one car to fix the other car. Parts car, right. And that's yeah. the reason he going to sell the guy, the one car, and the other one he has to take it to, mm -hmm. to fix the, the car he's going to sell it. Right, so that's why I would think, if, if, if I think the best thing to do here is to seriously negotiate with the guy who wants to buy the car. And you know, I hate to say it this way, but maybe, come down on the asking price a little bit to make it easier to get rid of because that may be the problem. That may, because if, if your buyer is holding you up at the end of the day, you guys are responsible. Oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. you know, so if he's holding me up, you may have to do some a little talking with the guy who wants to buy it. You know, you may have, that may be the solution, but I can't tell you to do that, but that may be what needs to be done. Well, so. I think for the next one, yeah. I hope uh, the problem be solved. Okay. Okay. Is there any progress whatsoever since the start? I don't see any. Uh, well, the the truck has been the truck is the one that the one that's that's been removed yeah. since yes, yeah, so the one that's in the front setback there, the truck. Okay. And I think there was the other Mercedes has its registration as well. Okay. So, so there's a little bit. All right. So we won't raise the fine. We'll just. I'll just continue it. So yeah, one month. And I think that at that point in a month, we really do need to see something happen. And like it may be the fact, you know, you know, if this gentleman is, is interested in purchasing the vehicle, I may have to say, look, okay, we need to get rid of this. We need to get rid of this one. Yeah. And you can you tell that hey, the city's on my back, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, you can no, you can say it. that. Yeah. You can say that if you have to. Yeah. And that's it's just, you know, as I say, what we have to get it down to is one unregistered vehicle is what we have to get it down to. Well, I hope he sell that one too. Um, well, that'd be nice. So that'd be real nice. That'd be a good thing. Oh, yeah. That'd be, real, that'd be so. Right. What's the date? Today, uh, that would be the 24th of March would be the next, uh, would be the next hearing. Okay, we're giving you notice right now, Mrs. Jordan. Come back here on March 24th and show me whatever progress you've accomplished. You still have a $500 fine pending, so I expect to see some progress. So basically, you yeah. understand? Yeah, yep. So the 24th yeah. of March, you come back. The $500 is still there, but it hasn't increased. So it's the same as it was last time. So basically, we're giving but, you a month to. Well, soon as we read the, the two little cars, so the $500 is gone. Well, we'll have to, you have to come back here and you'll have to convince us of that. <laughs> So that, that's just the way the process works. It can't be automatically waived. You have to come back and have to convince us. It's all going to depend on the uh, good faith efforts you make. Right. Okay, so then we're all set there. Yep, sounds good. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was 32 Adamson, and we will take a break for a moment. All right, we are back. So we're going to move to what we're waiting for our next uh, um, customer, if you will. Let's move to uh, number three on the agenda, 30 Lagana Lane. We know this one is not going to be here today, but I think it'll be easy to go without 
uh, needing somebody here. So we'll do everybody's favorite again. All right, and 30 Laganas right there. Okay. Okay, so we have first our previous decision form, which was from January 20th, uh, 2021. And basically, um, they got their zoning approval, which was the requirement for that last hearing. So then it was kicked to today, one month, to get their building permit. Uh, there is a $1,000 contingency fine to ensure progress uh, that was active at that last meeting, is still active today. And the condition was that a uh, valid building permit would have to be uh, issued in order for them to avoid any further repercussions. Uh, so let's scroll down. So, oh, should I, what should I? Um, so this is a receipt. This is from the building department. This is their resident interior residential alteration uh, permit fee. And so the individual who took the receipt is uh, Inspector Guerrero. Uh, they paid on February 8th, 2021. And I got the copy of this from the property owner, uh, Mrs. Pasquarelli. And um, I checked yesterday, I wanna say, or Monday, and the permits are active. Uh, they've been assigned to the appropriate inspectors that would uh, be taking care of it. So now what we're left with is um, the work just has to be done. Now, these building permits are valid for six months. Um, the amount of work here shouldn't take six months. Uh, complete honesty on the record, it, but it should, it'll probably take more than three, four weeks to do. So, um, the option is up to the hearing officer. So, so how we want to go from here. So, they did what they had to do so far. Correct. They have six months to do this. Correct. What is our purpose in making them do it in less than six months? It, it's just one of those things where we want to make sure that they keep, because if they come by, if six months goes by uh -huh. and put them back on here, the violation still is ongoing and they can come up with, if they're doing work, they're actively doing work, then... So you want to see something sooner to see that they're doing To see they're actually, because they can just put up, in this case, they can just remove them a set of upper cabinetry and say that's progress. Well, yes, it is, but. Okay, so what's the, how long do you want to continue it with? Uh, so you, I, I, you know, look, we can, I think we can somewhat split the difference. I would say if we were to give them 90 days to do the work, I think that's a lot. Of, I think that's very fair. It's not the 180 days, but it's. Okay, well, we'll have them back in 90 days for progress. Report. We can do that. And I can put them on even if, if it's done sooner or there is substantial progress, I can put them on for a status update as well. Okay. So they don't have to have to do that. So we don't have any hearings that far out. So we just want to say uh, 90 days. So we got a, we do have a contingent fine sitting here. We do, yes. So we don't want to remove that. Right. Is there any reason to raise it or we're okay? No, they've been, I don't know. For, they did what they said. They, they, they said, well, they've done what we required them to do. All right, so, um, all right, so violation continues, but progress as required. Okay, $1,000 contingency fine remains to ensure continued progress. Building permit good for six months. I'll put that down so I remember this 90 days from now. Continued 90 days uh, for review. Notice required. Okay. All right. That's more than fair. Yeah. Now I've got the clue here. 
That was uh, 30 Logana. Okay. So the next one, if we want to continue the old merry-go-round there, um, our next uh, one that's supposed to be here, um, and I just realized I was thinking about it for a second. It might have been partially my fault because I told them, eh, 330, 345. I didn't know how far the first one was going to last. So um, I knew. So we're not here yet. So not quite here. So we can move on to another uh, one that I'm pretty certain is not going to be here. Uh, that would be Seven Oak Hill Avenue. Okay. So I'll present the hearing mellow and a previous decision. And we'll go share screen again. And seven up hill. There we go. Okay. So seven oak hill. We have uh previous time here was February 10th, 2021. Uh uncontested hearing. And uh violation persisted from the last time they were here. Um and minimal if any progress was made through the $2,500 fine assessed continued two weeks uh, to look for basically for progress and they need notice. So just so you are aware, let me grab the, did I do this in the wrong order? I did. Yeah. Never go perfect, right? So we'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here's the notice via constable service, and constable bonding, and his certification of service, bonding. and then I guess I'll go back up to the other photo up here. So as a reminder, this one was. Do people live there? Or they do. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Um, so this is Oak Hill Ave. Down here is the south is um, Flax Hill is down along the south, and this curves around to Rampart Road uh, by 95. Um, so we're looking at in this photo. This is from 2019, before we even had this. Um, you can see in our aerial photo we have a the bulldozer is here and you'll see that bulldozer again very shortly uh and there's also some miscellaneous equipment by the garage entrance here so now let me go back past this yeah. okay here we go now we have photos photos are everybody's friend so this is from february 10th which was the last meeting that this was on the last year this was in front of us uh so we have some Equipment in front of the garage. There's that yellow bulldozer that we saw in the aerial photo. And on the second page, and this is, if you're looking at the aerial photo map that we provided, uh, there's a small, it looks like a wood chipper, maybe uh, some sort of equipment. I don't want to say wood chipper because I don't see the traditional top uh, thrower, but it may not be on there. Um, they, they can come off. Uh, this is looking, if you look on the aerial photo, I am around the bend of the property looking back up this way. Okay. So um, it's actually kind of, this blue structure here is actually on the neighboring property. Okay. Um, so Which that would be where? With that, so where are you taking this picture from? I'm actually on the street. Oh, I, okay. I still have not been able to get access to the so property. Where's this? There. Oh. So this and there's actually and then you're sitting this in here. right oh. as you can tell you can see in the photo there there's a steep grade difference between the two properties yeah okay. between like this is the roof of that truck and that yeah. structure is about 10 12 feet tall okay. so there's a massive and then going around the hill like going on oak hill here as you're going around the corner you go what happened to tiger woods yeah well i'm a little more careful than that <laughs> i was on a 
back pain killers or anything. So I don't think that. Right. Like I can make it around though, right? And just for that was on the the tenth, and I have a set of photos here from the. You would think I just copied them, but the snow has melted off of these. These are from uh, uh, the twenty third, which was oh. yesterday. Uh, the excavator is still in the driveway, and uh, in fact, we have a work truck here now. Um, if it was just a work truck there, we wouldn't have any problem because uh, you're allowed to work truck, but uh, not work truck and bulldozer or, or front loader. And the second photo is showing that orange piece of equipment is still there. So I have not heard anything from this property owner since we first got the initial violation, which was back in September, and I sent a notice in early October. I did hear from the property owner at that point. It started in April. April. Okay, fair. Right. And then August. They didn't know till August when you sent a citation that they were doing anything wrong. They were right. They may have known, but this, this, was, have right, that they and this is one of the handful, or you know, so, I want to say half dozen or so that we got in the middle of the COVID okay. thing. So, like, I was in and out very infrequently. Okay, so, so then we got to August. Uh, Property maintenance just recently hired the prop. Clean up the fire department. September 2nd. And the hearing officer came in here. 2500 dollars final because several inspectors shown varying levels of proof. Property time I couldn't go back. Right. In January 29th. Several tenth inspection. Every tenth hearing, they have confined to twenty to four the legal system and appropriate. I'll say this one. Okay, so uh, so basically, the $2,500 fine didn't wake them up. No. Okay, well, at some point we can make them up, I guess, soon. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, we're basically at this point, again, on the record there, we're looking for um, the fine to be increased and preferably to a point where we can uh, bring this to our corporation council or attorneys to at minimum place a lien on the property, if not um, as the courts open up, perhaps. How much maybe. money does that take? Uh, they're almost there now. I think they um, we've sent things up there that are seventy five hundred dollars. So I think that um, we're pretty close to that now. Oh, we're twenty five. Twenty five hundred. So I think if we were to at least violation go, continues. Yeah. Hold on. Violation hey, skip that. continues. No progress. Uh, no. No progress. I'm just going to find double to five thousand. And uh, always double it again. Right. $5,000. Continue to win. Well, I mean, I, I can see if that, if that's an, if you're making, if you can assess that $5,000 fine, I will forward an email to our corporation council to see if they will take that. Okay. If they do, then we can continue this to. You know, the only thing we'd be doing is upping the lien at that point if no progress is made. Um, and we can continue with a month, another month would be another close to five thousand dollars on top of that. That'd make it ten. Yeah. So uh, yeah. so we can do one month would be out uh, the the twenty fourth, as Mrs. Jordan, or we can do uh, the thirty first. We also have hearings on the thirty first as well. Doesn't matter to me because at that point it's gonna be is he going to be another 5,000 or he's another? Gonna, he's going to do something. He's got, or he's going to do something. Or he's to talk to you. Yeah. Okay. I know this was the 31st because then this way. Continue to March 31st, 31, 2021. Me notice. Uh, fine double. I'm going to put contingent fine of another 
uh, at that time. So you know, it's going to be kind of nothing happens. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah, no, I, I'll still, I will still email the law department to see if they'll. So uh, they can wait for it till it's time. They can, they can even do it now. If they want to do it now, I'm not going to stop. down to two more and one of them yep. one of them is a request for a continuation from uh, an attorney and and the other one is who we're waiting for um, well again I'm sorry to feel bad for saying that he should come around you know, 330 quarter up. That's right. I was annoyed when he asked, like, I don't know how long this is going to go, so how long each one's going to go. So I'd rather uh, play it safe. I don't want the guy to take time off of work any more than he has to. And set my hand. So I guess we will start with. Seven Orlando Place for those of us looking on the agenda. That is uh, number one on the agenda. Um, I guess if uh, the only other one remaining is 23 Ryan, that's the last one. Um, if he comes in and we're in a spot, maybe we can just pause this one. Then we will. We can do that. And well, we can finish here. this one. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. There's a little. There's some detail in this, so that my long-winded presentation may. Uh, Okay. Anyway, a little bit. I'll draw a cousin away for a minute. See if he shows up. We'll worry about if he shows up. We'll see where we are when he shows up. There we go. Now we get my uh, screen share up here, everybody. Uh, so again, this is seven Orlando Place. We've seen this before. Right, let's get this presented. There we go. Okay, so the first time this was in front of us was December 30th, 2020. Uh, this was for storage of a few uh, con pieces December of content. Hold on. That, oh, here it is. Thank you. I'm looking for one. And so basically, um, storage of some equipment in the, I don't know why I cut off, but it's on your paper. Um, is uh, they have storage of three large pieces of equipment at the rear of the property and a trailer. Uh, the issue with this one was, uh, I believe this was an inheritance property, and the one, the individual who inherited it, um, it was, it's been vacant, vacant for a while. The property needs a lot of upkeep. Uh, so the intent was to upkeep the property. Uh, so they had to, at this point, um, get a sign-off, which they did for the work that needs to be done on the exterior. So they have our approval, which I have in my... Oh. oh, the property? I just can't picture it. Oh, yeah, let me go. I got, I got some. Here we go. No. There we go. Okay. These are current. These are the ones I took yesterday. Okay. Um, so there's a the trailer <laughs> in that one. Uh -huh. And the equipment is, sorry, I got some close ups here, and we can go back if need be. But on the other side, you got a small dump truck here. A uh, front loader and a another bulldozer, and I do a close up, somewhat close ups. There you go. Oh, okay. Dump truck, uh, front end loader, and a bulldozer or right. something. Now, I'll be really honest, these two, I don't know if they can move, um, but they are considered equipment. I guess in, once you get south of the Mason Dixon line, maybe consider lawn art, um, but this, uh, the, these would have to go. <laughs> Um, is that on the right? That is. <laughs> maybe I mean, I'll include me. I'm from the valley. It is probably the one where I'm come from. Uh, so the the issue here is. And so I'll go back up to the top. So basically, what needs to happen? This house is vacant. Uh, what I understand, this vehicle here, I believe, is actually the property of the former occupant. 
Uh, the only thing that's new from the last time is this truck. That's new. I, that has not been here before. So I don't know if that is the, the owner, current owner of the property bringing that in to actually start things or, but, it, but that aside, if I may digress for a moment, uh, he was represented by council last time here. And I do have his request here for a continuance. And I believe he's on top of this because I did not need to contact him. He gave me that. What's your position on that? So my position is, well, frankly, I don't think the council has seen the property. I don't think, I mean, unless this pile here, this is the only new thing when it comes to topsoil that I saw was this here. That is definitely soil. That's not, they, nobody's been moving. The snow was pristine. So that's definitely something that was delivered. Um, and it, you would need something that big to level off the property in the rear. So I don't think he is, I don't think there's any false claim in what he's saying, but there still is a problem and it's gotten kind of exacerbated by the fact that the unregistered truck is now there. That wasn't what we originally cited him for, but it's kind of compounding things. Now. Right. So that's. So my take would be, I have no problem with, as I'm granting continuances for other folks who need time to do uh, yard work because of the snow. I have no problem granting that. I think that the contingent fine should be up to get the homeowner's attention to say. Yeah, but I hate to have it raised a fine when he's not here, you know? Uh, that's, I mean, that, that, that's my stuff. I said, I, I have no problem with the fine. 67.50. Oh, that's a pretty big fine. Yeah, I think we, for some reason, we, we gave them the max at that December hearing as a contingent fine. So let me just scroll up again. Oh, I should there we go, yeah. Contingent fine must have progress. I and mean, I guess. Well, he wants a continuance. I'll give him a continuance. I'm not going to check on his progress until we have the actual hearing. Uh, part of the problem with this requesting a continuance is. I should get an answer before I. Yeah. No, I'm not granting a continuance, but I don't see it till now. What am I supposed to do? Send the marshal to bring her in? Well, I, that the idea that you can request a, a continuance through me, uh -huh. but the reason we've always brought the continuances to the hearing because the hearing officer can. I don't see a date on this. Um. Oh, yeah, I can't be. I, you know, I didn't even look for a date. Uh, this was this week. It was Monday. Or I'll put it on the record. Is your Monday or I can. I'm just date wondering. This. But no, he he actually reached out to me. So he's on it. it. Um, I understand, but he should get it. All right. Well, I mean, look, that's something. That's not just for him. We should be talking about this whole concept. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jose's in there. There's Jose. Um. So what I would do is. I'm going to give them this continuance, yep. but we got to think about how these people get continuances if they just don't show up because they ask for a continuance. Uh, that's not all right. So, well, I, I agree with that. Yeah, that I, oh, I so he's got an uncontested hearing. You know, uh, let me get the fine in here 67 50. 67.50 fine continues. There. Continued per request of counsel. Um, and we need it to continue to when? Um, he said 30 days, so the next closest to 30 days would be March 31st. Request of counsel. Request of counsel to 2, 331 21. Need notice. Okay. All right, I'll do that. 
After this is over, let's talk about that. Yeah, problem. absolutely. We'll get Mr. Uh, say hi in here for his last one and we'll uh, chat about that. It, it, it's something that I think is just something we've done. Yeah, no. I don't know why, but we did. And it's just kind of going through like that. Yeah, no, well, it wasn't causing problems, but now I'm seeing it. Could be an issue. I got people are figuring out this is a, how they can gain the system over. All right. So let me stop sharing here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, pause for 45 seconds while I go get our last uh, one. All right, everybody, we are back. And the next item we are doing is 23 Ryan Avenue. Property owner, uh, Mr. Seha, is here. And Mr. Seha, I'm Gary ahead. Obers, I'm the hearing officer. You know, Mr. Hiducki, he's the deputy zoning inspector. Uh, you're going to testify today. You're going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right, everybody, bear with me for one last time, our favorite shared screen. Let's get Southern Orlando out of here. And we have... 23 Ryan Avenue, who was last here, the last time the item was in front of us was last week, but due to an improper notice, we decided to postpone to this week, and so Mr. Sayha is here today. So we have, here's the notice that was sent via Constable, that was sent on the 17th, and here is the Constable service record and his receipt for us. Sorry for those $63 for this. I started thinking of the wrong business. Um, <laughs> so, so we have here, basically this was, and I can go back and get other photos if the hearing officer um, wishes for what used to be here. But I did do an inspection yesterday and uh, Jose met me out there. And so here we used to have a tr big trailer and a truck that has been removed. And really the only things that are left, we have some ladders back here and some shelving on the side. And then if you do, we do scroll down here, this is the most, uh, shall we say, obtrusive thing left is the uh, masonry material. Now and what I want to point out as well, this is, belongs to Mr. Seha. All this stuff up here is a uh, friend of his who was renting the, bu the business operator. Um, that's all his equipment. Um, so, actually, one of the. I mean, no, that, that is that. Uh, this would be very quick. So, basically, very little implements of the business that was being operated out of here is left. Uh -huh. So, what we're looking for here is to get a, to continue the matter a little bit of time to allow for the rest of this to be removed because the um, the tenant that was here does have you know the ability to remove it just got to get a little more a little more out and then we would reconvene what did you say it was here he's gone the tenant is still there or not he's got, he's got a spot in Trumbull was it you're saying yeah. yes so he's still here, but he still has some of his stuff here. He just has okay. to clear out. Right. Yeah, and then this down here, um, you know, this is the owner saying that it's his. He'd like to use it to spruce up the property. Um, you know, and I'll be completely honest. My thing, I will normally don't like saying things for the accused, if you will. But this has been there for a very long time, and I'll let the homeowner speak to that. If you wish. Do you have any objections to these pictures? Uh, no. Okay, so let me just get reoriented. You're saying there was a three hundred dollar fine, but here it says there was a thousand dollar fine. That was on. If I go back up December there. December second is three hundred. December thirtieth, a thousand. I can dig that out. It could just simply be a typo on my end on that. And now to that, I do apologize. That is a typo. We do have December thirtieth. Yeah, contingent fine. Of a thousand. Okay. Okay. So. Not an assessment. Do you want to say anything? Uh, no. Okay. What is your feeling here? My feeling here is I think it is appropriate to uh, continue a little bit. Um, I think our next hearing we have is the 17th. Uh, I would suggest that we have the um, 
last little bits of equipment there, the ladders and the shelving there, um, taken care of by yeah. then. And then we can address the uh, the masonry blocks and see what your plans are at that at that point. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was waiting for the uh, spring to come and uh, because there used to be a garage there. Uh, it kind of caved in and uh, it got removed. I removed it out of the way. And uh, yeah. so my plan was to either build up a patio or something do something with it. Yeah, right, yeah. I understand. Yeah, and, he, and that he can do it. He actually, it's a through lot from Ryan Avenue. So you don't want to so. throw out these bricks right away. You want time to be able to use them. Yeah. Right. So or how much time do we need? We can't do it this time of year. Well, I was thinking of it's just the month continuance just to make sure we get rid of the last of the remaining okay. of the, the business. All right. Uh, reasonable project progress. Progress. Violation continues. Thousand dollar contingency fine remains. We'll wait to see what happens with that. Still contingent. Uh, continued one month. So let's see. Let me see what dates we have actually before I do. Uh, we go too far there. Further, further progress. We have. Uh, and we have all three. We have the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st. Okay, let's, I'm in a generous mood. Let's go to the 24th. Rather than the 17th. 24, 21. Yeah, that's right. Oral notice. So we're giving you notice yep. now, Mr. Seha, that we're having the next hearing on the 24th. We'll okay. be here on the 24th. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we'll see where we stand. You get everything done but those bricks for sure. um, yeah, I mean, of the ladders, actually, if, uh, I think they, uh, you know, because one of them is mine, I use it on the house to clean up the. Uh, I mean, they, like, if, there's, if there's only one, we'll, we'll address that. We understand that. But there's just still some stuff there we want. Like, and like yeah. we met out there just trying to get it cleaned up to the point yeah. of, you know, it's actually a yard now. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Any questions? Uh, All right. No. All, All right. Boy, that was 23 Ryan Avenue. Yeah, go on the record. Yeah, no, uh, so that is the last item of the day, everybody. So we are done with the hearings for February 24th. Our next set of hearings is March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day, we're still green. And um, we will reconvene then. Thank you for watching. Nobody. <laughs> okay. And we're out.